All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. You guys wanted to see the beanie again, so it's about 50 degrees out here. The beanie's back out. Stay tuned to see my entire arsenal and what I bring to tournaments every weekend. All right, guys, so we have my entire arsenal right here in the back of the van, and I have the 16 balls, uh, 18 balls that I bring with me to every tournament. Uh, we're gonna start with the urethane bag. I have that right up on top. Um, of course, first is the brand new Rubicon UC3. We have it pinned down um, so that it cuts down the flares. It doesn't hook too early. I still want it to hook down lane, um, but this is the urethane ball that's going to give me the most overall hook, the most boards covered. Um, next to that I have, of course, the pitch black. This one is the newest one I have, pin up. Hope you guys can see that layout there, uh, but this is a pin up pitch black. So that is the stronger of the two, and then I have my pin down option. If the lanes are really hooking early, this is the one I go to. It uh, stores a lot of energy and it's pretty calm in the back. So we also have the fast pitch. I don't have that with me right now. It's at the house, um, but the fast pitch is another urethane option that I have. So let's move on to the reactives. All right, and I have 15 reactive balls that I bring with me to every tournament. We're gonna start with the asymmetric solids um, we have the reality uh, this ball should be in everyone's bag it's so good and I have mine pinned down and I have the RSTX2 that one's pin up so it's good for me to have some pin up and some pin down asymmetrics generally they're all gonna be pinned down so they don't flare too much um, but as far as the strong asymmetrics, the RSTX one's the only one I have pin up. And then going down the line, I have the original Rubicon pinned down. I probably have drilled three of these. This is one of my favorite balls. Um, so yeah, I've always went pinned down on the Rubicons. Those seem to roll the best for me. So onto the shiny asymmetric bag. The strongest one I would say is this Altered Reality. We went pinned down on it. If you guys haven't seen my ball review on that, it's doing very well and uh, it's a really good review. So go check that out. This is the newest one, probably my latest review. That's pinned down. And like I just said, we do want to have some pin up asymmetrics. My RSTX2 is pin up. So this ball, if there's more oil, um, or I needed to cover more boards than say the UFO alert. This is the one I'm going to because it's pin up. It's gonna hook a little bit more in the oil. And then another pin down, shiny asymmetric, my UFO alert. This ball is really good. Gives me a nice smooth reaction. And yeah, this, uh, this is a ball I go to when I still want the core to pick up a little bit, but I don't want it to hook too much. And I don't think a symmetric ball is gonna get around the corner enough so on to bag number four this is gonna start to get into the symmetric balls but we're gonna be on the high end of symmetric so of course phase two you gotta have a phase two in your bag I have two of them I've drilled a bunch of these but I always bring these right after the phase two I have the new idle helios we went pinned down just so it wouldn't flare too much and hook too much. I wanted it to still uh, retain energy. Um, but I use this ball when the phase two is not getting the corners out or it's picking up too early. This cover's a little bit cleaner and it's a little sharper for me. 
So these, right in this range, is going to be the benchmark type ball, right in the middle of your arsenal. And then the final ball in that bag is the 900 Global Money Badger Tour. This is a ball that, for me, acts like an IQ Tour. I don't have an IQ Tour in my bag right now, but this is a ball that is going to give you a very even rounded motion it's going to tell you what the lanes are doing and then you can ball change off of it so got to have one of these in your bag not these specifically but an iq tour ball something in that range and now we're going into the shiny symmetrics first one i would say is the strongest is going to be my zen i have two of these as well they are both pin up and the Zen is a staple in my bag. I mean, I bring this everywhere and these balls strike a lot, Zen ball good. Next in strength would be the Wolverine. The brand new 900 Global Wolverine. I haven't thrown it a whole lot, but I do like what I see out of it. It goes through the pins very well. And you'll see in my ball review that it's a little bit stronger than the Trend 2. Uh, the Trend, sorry. It's a little bit stronger than the Trend, so. It's a good ball to have there right after the Zen. And then one of my favorites, we have the Trend. The original Trend. Uh, pin up on this one, I have two of these as well. And I use this when the lanes are starting to hook. You need something to clear the fronts and still pick up uh, down lane. This is the ball right here, the Trend. After that, we have the Marvel Pearl. 2017 Marvel Pearl. I still have a few of these in the garage that are waiting to get drilled once this one um, has too many games on it. But if I need a very weak ball that's still corner, still goes through the pins well, Marvel Pearl is going to be a good choice. It's going to be hard to find one, but that's why I stocked up on them. Next, we'll go with the Hustle Camo. And I don't know if you can see, but this ball needs some surface work. Uh, I, throw it, I throw it a lot. I throw it in league uh, later in the block and tournaments. So Hustle Camo is going to be a very good controllable but weaker ball that's going to clear the fronts. And then finally, we have the Hustle Wine. And this, uh, the cover on this is the cleanest out of all my bowling balls. So if the fronts are hooking or you need to move left and really turn the corner, this is going to be the ball, super clean, super angular, um, but still in that lower differential line. So it's not going to hook a ton like say an Axiom Pearl or uh, even the Trend. It's just going to be cleaner and more angular down lane. So there you have it. There's all 18 bowling balls that I bring with me to tournaments. And don't forget, visit Bullify.com for any of your jersey needs. Uh, super affordable, fully customizable, names, logos, designs, and you can use my code at checkout for $5 off your first order. Hope you guys have a good Christmas. Peace out. <music>